Well, we got giant news on Stellar Blade and the censorship of the game. It seems all the pushback, the petition, everything has come to the top and Shift Up has added two new outfits to the game that are completely uncensored. They are for adults. They are for the people this game was made for, for the gamers that spoke out why this was censored in the first place. Let's take a look. Well, before we fully get into this, subscribe to the channel, do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel because we're covering a lot of details here in this particular video. From Grums, we did it, you did it, free Stellarbrate, celebrates a shift up and Stellar Blade uncensor outfits. Not entirely true. They didn't uncensor the original outfits, but they added two uncensored outfits to the game. So it is a win and a compromise at this point. I think everyone should be happy with this because everyone's very happy with the game. Everyone thinks the game is amazing and that's the way it is. Except of course, there are some journalists that are quite upset that this is a win. Thank you everyone who participated in the eight step plan of the petition. Thank you to Jam3D for listening to gamers. Please sign the petition, which will now be sent as a gift to shift up. So many have helped to make this possible. Everyone worked very hard. Gamers voices are small, but growing. Our win will be bigger and bigger over time. And honestly, this was never about sexiness in the outfits this wasn't about it. it it's a mature game and adults are in the room we can accept a mature game we don't need sony telling us that they're mommy and daddy and telling us no we have to censor this game for the good of the adults for the good of the people in the room that want to play this game that was never the point the point was they offered uncensored outfits let's take a closer look though because some forbes journalist is very upset over this well not only did stellar blade add in uncensored uh outfits but they added a boss rush mode which i you know a lot of people because they like the game they want to just boss rush and get more unlockables and this is one way to give that back to the fans stellar blade has gotten its first major patch which adds some significant new challenging content and ends what was one of the most bizarre controversies at launch here's what they added they added a boss rush mode a new challenge where you can get unlocked new unlocked outfits and this one is the Neurolink suit they added some quality of life that's fine uh kuno chi outfits there are two new outfits in the game that say that can be obtained at adam safe safe house but I've got a prompt that they were auto added to my inventory when I logged in. So you got another two uh, things and there is uncensored outfits. Here we go. He's pissed right off. After months of complaints that Stellar Blaine had been censored, presumably on Sony's behalf in regard to two of the Eve's outfits in particular, well, they've ended that dispute. So now this was something that a lot of people were saying might happen. They, they would add in a couple outfits that actually would be more uncensored, that there wouldn't be the coverage over the cleavage, and they would just be more natural looking for the outfits. Shift Up maintained that on this, outfits were not the intended final outcome for those outfits, so the tiny amount of bit of fabric was added was not out of censorship concerns. It was a design choice. I call bullshit on that, absolute BS on that. There is no point, at any point, do you add a tank top to a dress or an outfit like this other than to cover things up other to have your mommy or daddy at your door as you're about to leave the door to go on a date or something like that and them coming up and saying i think honey you need to put on something more no that's not the point of this this point was this game was made mature this game was made for adults adults are in the room they want to see things that adults can handle that did not satisfy a particular crowd who maintained this was purpose, purposeful censorship, something they believed was demanded by Sony for release, despite there being no evidence that that was the case. Well, when the when Shift Up puts out tweets saying they will release the game in uncensored format, and then the game comes out, and the first patch that comes out 
sensors outfits you have to start asking why and all because we're asking why it comes down to did sony actually have a hand in this did shift up have a hand in this shift up has sat there and said that this was their original idea for the design if that was the case the demo would have had that in there they wouldn't have released a demo with the uncensored outfits in the first place this, uh, the result in a free Stellar Blade hashtag social media campaign mostly focused on the outfits. Now, it, it also focused on the gore that was removed from the game. It also focused on other things that were removed from the game. Now, Stellar Blade has released two outfits that are not patching or changing the old outfits, which still look the same. But the variants with the censored bits remove... Uh, AKA they are very revealing in the pelvis and chest regions as apparently nature intended. Well, if you go play Baldur's Gate 3, you can walk around completely nude. If you play Cyberpunk 2077, you have absolute uh, drop sex scenes that could be uncensored. They have an uncensored version of these games. And that's all that people are asking for with Stellar Blade. Let people play an uncensored version of the game. Why? say you're going to not censor the game and then you censor the game and tell everyone oh this was the original idea this is the uncensored no it's not give people the option and i think that these two outfits kind of create that compromise they're like okay well there's people that want uncensored outfits so let's do that essentially everyone who is upset about this is considering it a win though some are saying uncensor the original outfits and there was an interesting point that I saw brought up uh, about the the outfits that are now actual part of the game. And a couple, a couple people out there have said that they might not be able to uncensor them due to copyright issues. Because now that the game is out there on the market, they own the IP of these outfits. And that IP, if they were to change the IP, now they could get into a ter territory of copyright. For me, I don't see that. I believe that there's a 3D model that they're pasting over top of this with the undershirt. So I don't see that. That is just something that a couple people are lamenting to. And I honestly don't see that being a copyright issue at that point. Essentially, everyone who is upset about this is considering it a win, though some are still saying uncensor the original outfits like that even matters anymore with the release of these. You pick up these from Roxanne, the ma black market dealer. They cost 10 Bitcoin each and must still be crafted. Easy to acquire. I said when this was all unfolding, I figured Shift Up would eventually do something like this, either changing the original outfits or doing what they're doing here. They are a company that is absolutely forthright about their intention of, to make sexy characters and demands that outfits weren't sexy enough. Demands that the outfits weren't sexy enough in a game full of extremely sexy outfits is probably always going to lead them to go, okay, sure, whatever, here's the sexier version, so here we are. Has nothing to do with them being sexier outfits. This game is an adult game. Adults are in the room. Obviously, this journalist doesn't realize that adults play video games. He's treating everyone out there in the world of video games as a teenager as a little kid we're not little kids we're adults give me the adult content that's all we asked for i didn't uh, them being sexier outfits you can sit there and play baldur's gate 3 buck ass naked and go and have sex with a bear and nobody bats a freaking eye you uncensor or you put out a sexy looking outfit in Stellar Blade made for adults and everyone loses their mind. This is where we are today. The bad part about this is that the culture war folks have been rewarded. Their frankly ridiculous campaign lambasting this game, the developers, Sony, everyone for the original outfits changes as some sort of conspiracy which did not exist. Dude, how butthurt are you? How absolute upset are you? This is absolutely ridiculous to hear from this journalist. The outfits themselves are fine. Again, there are a dozen outfits, at least this revealing in the game. But this is being a reward for this group 
and their behavior is not a great look. You know what is a great look? You know what is an absolute great look? The fact that gamers can band together for any situation that they feel is unjust, unright, and get it changed and listened to. The gamers are the ones with the money. The gamers are the ones that um, decide if these games succeed or fail. It's not the corporations. The corporations marketing team, they put it out there and they try to market these games, but it's the gamers that buy the game. They're the end user. They're the end consumer of these games. And if the consumers are not willing to buy it, and if they're starting to boycott, if they're starting to move away from these games, what are they going to do in the long run? This journalist is absolutely upset and have at her, dude. Absolutely go ahead and tell us that we wanted more sexier outfits because that's not the case. We just want the adult to re-enter the room. And this take here from, what is this, Paul Tassi is absolutely not anywhere an adult. This is a very childish version of rewarding a group from his perspective. Thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.